what is true is that I unintentionally broke a securities law and a judgment was held against me because of such. Ladies and gentlemen, I would never break the law intentionally. Yahweh has the exact same structure. Matter of fact, that's where the American government got it from. <music> Yahweh says that whenever you have an ought with your brother, you're supposed to go directly to them in private. And if they are in sin, you're supposed to even cover their sin until you have a chance to work with them. If they choose not to hear you, you're supposed to take someone else. If they don't hear that person, then you're supposed to take them before the elders. This is the, the Matthew 18 situation. Nowhere in the entire Bible, matter of fact, it is against the law of God severely to go outside of that biblical court system and to go around it and to take your case to the court of public appeals. And unfortunately, this is what many people choose to do uh, when they have a case is they decided to take it to the Court of Public Appeals, whether that be Facebook, whether that be YouTube. And it scares people, it gets people uneasy, it steals the shalom, and it steals the direction that a ministry is going in or a person is trying to serve their God in. And I will absolutely admit that I am not a perfect person. I have made mistakes in my past. And so at the end of the day, I hope that this information helped bring you peace and brought some understandings to some of the misconceptions and misunderstandings dealing with my past. So now from here, let us band together and make sure the enemy does not infiltrate our camp uh, with misconceptions or misunderstandings or non-biblical protocols, and let's move forward to minister to the nations. This is Jim Staley. Shalom. Yahweh says, Yahweh says, Yahweh says, Yahweh says, Yahweh says, Yahweh says, Yahweh says.